all right, you have this animation and you would like to do something with the text. And the great thing here is that you can simply take this, this pre-composition, you can press S, you can press P like position and you can have fun and do anything you like. I would recommend to use S like scale. Here the animation finishes. You see those, those keyframes are ending here. And at this point, the text should have a scale of 100%. But a bit earlier, we could be a bit more crazy and make it, for example, 250%. If it's 250%, it will slowly come inside the screen. And this looks like a great zoom. And the zoom should already be happening here. That's why you have the graph editor and you can alter this animation to your liking. Because I would like it at this position to swoop more to the back because now it's very static. So I'll once again right click keyframe assistant, easy ease them. I go into the graph editor. Now I have a reverse animation because it's shrinking from 250 to 100. And let's make it like that. I would like it to be quicker at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, it's nearly perfect. Maybe it even should start a bit earlier. Yes, this really looks like a good animation and I do like to watch it. This is how you can make the text appear in the screen. Well, maybe it ends too late. Let me show if I take this keyframe and just place it closer, the animation will finish a bit quicker. And this is up to your preference. Well, if I make it longer, no, that's too boring. It definitely should be around here. And this is the animation which you should have. If you have an animation like that, you are nearly complete with this animation. Let me show you in the next lesson how you can create a tagline for this entire object. And now the three seconds are a bit too short. In the next lesson, we'll make a tagline here. So the entire design becomes more complete and you can still say something on the video or reveal your website or just add a little bit of flavor into it. Thank you for listening and let's head over to the next one.